Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of review video and I'll be reviewing the Sistema Microwave Bowl, which I have it right here. So the name, full name of this product is Microwave Noodle Bowl by Sistema. And uh, the reason I got this product, uh, I saw my nephew cooking with a microwave rice cooker. And then, you know, I got interested to find out more stuff you can do in the microwave with microwave bowl, uh, bowls or cookers or stuff like that and then i came across this product and uh, looks like you know this is a perfect uh, bowl to make noodles or vegetables in the microwave occasionally because i don't use microwave too often but you know i just wanted to give it a try and you know for uh, once in a while uh, you know i don't mind making a uh, noodles or a super bowl or a uh, or some vegetables in the microwave uh, for fast uh, eating so I just wanted to you know try that out and I'm going to show you today how uh, you know whether this uh, product works okay or not and how is the taste or if there's any plastic smell or anything so there's no packaging uh, this just came like this and you can see that you know it's called microwave noodle bowl Sistema is the name of the brand and this is uh, uh, made in New Zealand and this is BPA and phthalate free and basically that's all we have here and looks like they attached a small brochure and uh, you know i just went through the brochure uh, the thing is uh, it doesn't actually uh, give you any time how longer or how much time you need to uh, cook in the microwave with this so i just went to the website and i found out that uh, you know you can try a well, couple of minutes or three four minutes for soup or you know uh, noodle or vegetables so today i'm going to try this uh, noodles uh, which which is kimchi noodle soup and i'm going to put it in uh, two minutes and see how it works and they have a lot other you know uh, microbe products but this is the only one i bought and this is not a paid or affiliated review and this is very cheap it's uh, if i'm not mistaken it's like 12 13 dollars and in that range so this is a very cheap product so i'm going to try and see how it works so what happens here when you put in the bowl you have to just like you know attach these leads and you have to push it uh, for the vent to come out so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to just like you know take some water uh, to boil and I'm going to use hot water uh, I'm going to use you know cold water to boil and then I'm going to put the hot water in the bowl so let's just take some cold water from here and I'm going to wait a few more seconds for the water to bring complete cold and looks like it's cold enough. So I'm going to just take some water here. And this should be good enough. So you're just going to start. We'll just turn this on. And while the water is boiling, I'm going to just quickly wash it a little bit. So the product designing is very eye-catchy and it looks very nice but let's see if it works okay too and here's i have my you know uh, noodle so i'm going to just like you know, prepare putting the noodle in the bowl so i'm going to just take you know to take the whole piece and just like you know break it into pieces they provided two different types of uh, small packets here so one is kind of flakes and the other one is a uh, soup base and this one I'm going to take all of it so I'll just put it in here and the base I'm just going to take kind of half of it because these are usually very salty so I don't want to you know put too much salt in my body so I'll just take kind of half of it and this should be good enough and also they're very you know spicy and hot so that's another reason if you want if you're taking full the everything the whole packet then it's going to be very salty plus spicy so I'll just go with half of it and that should be good enough and the other half stays in the packet I'm going to just throw it away later on and I'll just you know keep this here 
and you can hear the water is coming to a full boil so we're just going to wait a few more seconds for the water to come to a full boil so if you're new to this channel uh, thank you for your support or if you're a returning uh, visitor uh, thank you for your support on this channel i'm always trying new and different ideas if you appreciate variety please go ahead and subscribe and like this video so more people can find out about you know uh, the microwave uh, bowl and how to make quick noodles at home and i have other videos which i'll uh, you know put links in the description box below so the water is almost done so probably it's going to take a few more seconds and I'm going to try just two minutes in the microwave because you know the water is very hot so I don't need to put in more than two minutes but we're going to see how it comes out if it you know if it's not cooked uh, in two minutes then definitely you can add more minutes later on but I don't want to overcook at the first time just putting in like you know three or four minutes so for me I think two minutes should be okay so let's see you know what happens when we put uh, two minutes Okay, so the water is done. Uh, I'm going to just, you know, pour some water in here. So this is very hot, you gotta be careful. So I'll try to spread out evenly. So I took about half water in here. So as you can see that, you know, this is not full water because I don't want too much water in here. And I'm going to just, you know, spread out uh, these soups so they are merged in water. It looks like that should do the job. So I'm going to close it. Actually, before I close it, I have to remove this. So just put it here. And when you close it, after closing it, you're gonna have to like, you know, tighten the lids and you should be hearing clicking noise. Okay, so once you finish closing, then you have to just press here and this should come out f to vent, let, let out the vent. So you can see that, you know, this is kind of up now. So I'm going to just put it in the oven uh, for two minutes. So let's open up and see, you know, uh, how good or bad it is. So it's very hot, so you have to be careful. So I'm just going to, you know, open this very slowly. And I'm just going to remove the cover. And it looks like the noodle is done so let me just show you how it looks here so it looks like it cooked perfectly and I'm going to just like you know taste a little bit to see if the cooking is done or okay This is just fine. Uh, the noodles is not too soft the way I like, but if you want like, you know, much kind of mushy or softer, then you can do it for uh, three minutes. And I'm just going to smell for plastic smell and see if there's something. So 
Unfortunately, I do get a plastic smell. So when I'm smelling here and here, there's a plastic smell. So I don't like that, that you know, it smells plastic. And I'm not even sure that, you know, if it's uh, leaching something to the food. Although they are saying that, you know, this is uh, valid and BPA free. But there shouldn't be any plastic smell. So if there's a plastic smell, that could be a reason to concern. Uh, given the fact that it smells like that, I'm not going to be using it a lot. Uh, but, you know, uh, I hope it doesn't leach anything to the food. But who knows, I'm not going to take chances and, you know... I'm not going to just uh, like you know uh, keep using this every day but in terms of everything else it just works fine uh, there's no problem the designing is very fine uh, it's very inexpensive but it's just a plastic smell I cannot accept it uh, and you know I cannot uh, I don't think this is there should be a smell plastic smell in the food you know that's the fact that I don't like so that's the review of the Sestina microwave bowl Thank you for watching this video. If you're looking for more food videos, there will be links in the description box below. So thank you and I'll see you shortly.